Welcome back to another Discord.js tutorial. In this video, we are going to be uh, taking a look at uh, welcome messages um, within a specific guild or a server. So basically, uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be setting up uh, coded welcome messages uh, for your own Discord bot using Discord.js. Uh, this will only work in one server. Unfortunately, uh, I have not yet figured out how to set up per server uh, welcome messages, but uh, this will have to work for now. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Before we start, I would like to mention that I have coded a Discord bot. As of uh, when I'm recording, we are at 68 servers, meaning we are very, very, very close uh, to reaching our goal of bot verification. Eight servers off, to be exact. So if you would add uh, SQ to your server and upload it on the bot listing site, that would be very helpful. All right, let's go ahead and start. All right, so the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to open up our index.js file. So we're going to have to uh, actually create a new file first. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So we can create a new file. We can call this welcome.js. All right, so uh, once we've created the new file, we can go back into our index.js and we can do const at the very top, by the way. Const welcome equals require. Um, we can do dot slash uh, welcome or yeah, welcome.js. Um, and then that should be good. Then we can go ahead and actually define it. For you, you won't have the pending. I use the tutorial bot uh, to create a uh, new verification system um, just to test it out. But for you, will, you'll go right here and you'll do welcome and then you'll do clients just like that. So once you've done that, you can go into your welcome.js file and we can go ahead and actually start. All right, so at the top of your file, if you're planning on using an embed for the message to send, uh, you can do const uh, message embed and then you can do equals or require uh, discord dot js uh just like that you don't have to do this if you're not actually going to use an embed but we'll just do that for now uh now we can do module dot exports equals clients arrow function we can open that up so in here we're going to go ahead and start off by doing our clients dot on and then inside of this we can do guild member add uh and then right outside of that we can do a comma and then we can do member member and then we can do another arrow function and open that up one more time all right so the first thing we're going to define is the channel id all right so the channel id um is what we're going to be using to pretty much uh tell the bot where we want the welcome message to be sent uh so we can open up our discord server and we can find the channel that we want it to be sent in so for me, I'm going to make a new channel and it's going to be called welcome. Uh, we can put this in here. I don't know, just for now. And then we can go ahead and right click on the welcome channel and copy the ID. Now that we're in here, we can go ahead and do const channel ID equals and then we can pass in that just like that. Now we can go ahead and do a few more things. So we can do console.log and then we can log a member. Um, and then we can go ahead and write our message and uh, we can define channel again. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do const message equals um, and then we can leave this blank for now. Then we can do const channel equals member dot guild dot channels dot cash dot git. We can do channel ID just like that. All right. So now uh, we can go ahead and do one more thing. So we can do channel send message. All right, so now what we're going to go ahead and do um, is we're going to go ahead and actually write the message. So the message that we want to be sent um, is welcome. We can bold this so we can do welcome to the server, comma, and then we can do at, um, open this up, uh, money sign, open that up, and we can do member.id. Then we can close that off. Um, and then we'll, we'll just go with that for now. We can uh, play around with that later. Uh, so now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're actually going to go ahead and uh, code our uh, code our DM message. So what the DM message is, is it's the message that gets sent to the users once they join the server. Um, you don't have to add this. If you don't want to add it, just skip forward in the video, but we'll add it. So what we can go ahead and do is uh, we can start off by defining the guild. So we can go right here and we can do const uh, guild equals message uh, just like that we can go under that we can go ahead and do const dm message equals and then we can write this out so we can do welcome to the test server 
and then we can do open this up we can do member dot user dot username um and then uh we can say um we can do, do n n just to make it so we can go under we can say here is our server link um, and then for now that will be good. Obviously, you can add uh, more stuff to uh, to this if you would like. Um, for example, this is what I have done um, with my uh, bot for my two thousand member server. I made like a full in depth embed with how can I impact the server, our regions, blah 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 blah. Um, but you don't have to do that. You can just make it simple, or you can make it more in depth. All right. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go under here. We can do member send. Um, and then we can do DM message, just like that. And then we can go ahead and catch an error. So the reason we're going to catch an error is because there's a good chance that some of the members in your server may have their DMs off. So catching an error will pretty much uh, make sure the bot doesn't crash if they have their DMs off and it cannot send them the message. So we can do catch error, arrow function, we can do channel, or wait, we can do console.log, and then we can say this user has their... DMs off, and I cannot DM them the welcome message. All right, just like that, uh, we are good to go. So we can actually restart our bot and test this out within our own Discord server. So now that we're in our test server, you can see there's a few more people in it um, because I use the test server uh, to test out the new verification system. Um, but for now, we can just go ahead and uh, work with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and join the server on my alts and as you can see it says welcome to the server and then my alts in the welcome channel that we specified unfortunately i forgot to fix the folding i'll do that later um then if we go into our dms on the alt account we can see it says welcome to the testing server and then the name and then it says here is uh the link to our server just like that so this the bot is working exactly how we want it to one other thing that we are going to need to do is a uh, test out uh, to see if it works um, if the user has their DMs off. So before I leave the server, I'm just gonna go ahead and block the bot. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and block it, um, and then I'm gonna leave the server on this account. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and join back um, the, real quick. And as you can see, it says the same message again. Um, and if we go into our uh, console as you can see in the console it says this user has their dms off and i cannot dm them the welcome message and if we go back into the server we can run our test command and as you can see um the bot is still working it did not crash um, because the person who joined had their dms off with that uh, that does wrap up the video if you enjoyed or if this worked for you make sure you leave a like subscribe and leave a comment um, but if it didn't work for you just join the help server in the description below and I will be able to help you out along with a lot of other people. Uh, and with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.